Greetings everyone, it's Fred Sweet. Welcome to Guitar Media's JMP video series. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 1967 Fender Telecaster and we'll be playing the 1972 Marshall Model 1959 100 watts Super Lead. Our rhythm microphone will be the Natty RSM4 ribbon microphone and our solo microphone will be the Shure SM57. Please stay tuned at the end of the video, we'll be going over tone caps. Welcome to the tone cap section of this video. The tone caps are what voice your amplifier and decide the frequency response and the overall and part of the overall gain factor for the amplifier. And the biggest differences between the lead circuit and the bass circuit are here in the bass circuit in V1, we see the single ground capacitor going to ground on both plates of V1. And here in the lead circuit, we see the ground capacitor going to ground on the normal channel. And then on the bright channel, we see an additional 0.68 microfarads capacitor has been added to the ground of the bright channel. What this does is add some extra mid-range and high frequencies as well as gain to the bright channel of the amplifier. Once again, we see an additional 0.68 added to ground in V2, which also adds additional mid-range bright frequencies and gain for the normal and bright channel of the lead amplifier. In V3, which is the phase inverter of the base circuit, we see the 0.1 capacitors, which is a larger value capacitor than the lead circuit. The 0.1 capacitors allow for a little more gain and bass in the output coupling stage of the bass circuit. In the lead circuit, we see the 0.022 microfarads output coupling capacitors, and they allow for a little less gain, but they are also famous for their mid-range crunch. Thanks for watching, and check our channel for our latest videos.